We're gonna make pork chops on a cast iron into the oven today. Cool. Number one, we're gonna eat this with rice. So I'm just gonna wash some rice and cook that first because that's gonna take the longest time. All right, rice is in the rice cooker. The cast iron is nice and hot and the oven is prepped. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna start seasoning up these pork chops and they're thick. So let's open up this package and we're gonna prepare all of this because once I leave the house, I know these kids are gonna be begging for food. So let's just make a whole bunch at first. So now these pork chops are really thick and what happens is that they get kind of like, they get a little scrunched up when you cook them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice into the fat ring around and kind of just release that, um, that kind of band that keeps it really, uh, tight okay okay so all of our meat is sliced up on the sides to release like the um the tightness so now we're just gonna pound them a little bit so that they can be more tender so let's use um the bigger side All right, so everything got beat up. I got pig juice all over me. It was splattering. So these have bone in, and the bone is a little bit splintery. So what I'm gonna do is underwater, I'm just under running water, I'm just gonna like clean up a little bit of bone like fragments, just in case. Okay, so I don't want all that extra water that I used to wash the pork chops on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like dry them off slightly with some paper towels. So we got our pork chops in here, we're just patting them dry a little bit, and then we're going to season them with salt, pepper, um, garlic, and other, other things. I don't know what yet. Okay, so on our nice and clean tray, we're going to take this, and we're using Montreal chicken seasoning because we got a lot of it. We're just going to smother that baby because it's going to kind of sweat off. And also, this has no salt in it. So on top of that, we're gonna add our Japanese garlic salt. This is salt, pepper, and dried garlic pieces. And we're gonna do both sides, okay? Okay, ends up, this does have salt in it. So um, I over-salted with this. So luckily for me, I found that out halfway and I just rubbed the, the naked ones with the seasoned ones. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, now let's um, put some butter in the cast iron. So here's our cast iron and we're just gonna put some unsalted butter in here. It cooled down a bit, so let's wait for it to come back up to temperature. Okay, cast iron is nice and hot, so let's start. And we're gonna do this like two to three pieces at a time. Whatever fits. Maybe just two at a time. But rice, protein, so we got carbs and protein, but we're gonna need a vegetable. So I'm gonna boil some broccoli, and I don't know how I'm gonna season them. No idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this into the oven. Inter internal temperature has to be at 150 for medium, I think. So let's put it in. So let's wash some of our broccoli. Um, actually, I don't know if I want to steam them or saute them or boil them. I really don't know. I never prepared broccoli before. I just ate it like a steam, honestly. <laughs> Hopefully this is enough. I like pulled apart a bunch of broccoli. I'm just gonna boil this for a couple minutes and then, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do this quite honestly. <laughs> Okay, I changed the pots because it was way too small and um, looks like my first pork chops are maybe ready. Alright dudes, um, let's see how this came out. Wish me luck, who knows if it's even done or not. I'm gonna have to use the tip. ones that are really confusing and very rare are these very scary, skinny... Could have a little bit more color on it. ...basically intelligent insects that are important. People have drawn parallels. Okay, 
150, all right? That are reported on more UFOs and insects, particularly bees. Oh, it's at like 160. <laughs> could be equated in some way to the 169. Worker bee. 180. So Let's get near the bone. Type. 180. Perhaps as the queen. Larger 177. Than the more intelligent and 161 yeah i would say these are done so i'm going to take them off and i'm going to um rest them and then we're on to the next ones okay round two Okay, I think my broccoli is good enough, so I'm just gonna take them out and I'm gonna saute them. I don't know how, I'm just gonna saute them somehow, maybe in some salted butter. Um, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Okay, this one is gonna go into the oven next. All right, so I moved it to another bowl to get even more of the moisture out. Let's just see how it cooked. So I'm not gonna cool it down because I feel like it will get like it'll cook down a little bit more, get a little bit softer. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna put olive oil. I guess I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to put butter because you know when it gets cold, it's gonna it's gonna solidify, and I I don't want that. So this is my Japanese garlic salt. That might be too much. Who knows? Let's mix it. Hopefully it tastes okay. Okay, I just tasted it. It could do definitely better. Um, I might add some kind of barbecue seasoning. I don't know. All right, we're gonna use this one, the famous, famous one. I mean, it's just salt, pepper, and onion powder. You know what I mean? Oh, this might be empty, actually. <laughs> All right, it was actually just stuck to the bottom. So I'm gonna put some more in and let's see how this turns out. Might have to add soy sauce or something. Wish me luck. Okay, it's better. It's better, but you can just tell it's just this. Nothing special, but who cares? Let's try pork chop. Okay, let's get some rice. Rice time. Rice is all done. So the pork chops took longer than I thought it would. All right, uh, wish me luck. Hopefully it's not over salted. Maybe it's under salted, who knows? It was very, very uneven today. Um, it might be dry. I don't know, I'm not a professional. <laughs> Juicy. And actually, not overly salty. Not under salted. Broccoli's not bad. <laughs> and it looks like the kids are home. Perfect timing. Not bad. For something I rushed through, I'm kind of proud of myself. Okay, bye guys. Have a nice weekend. I'll see you later.